It's not your typical image of rural Australia. There's no cattle mustering, no combine harvesters, and the local dam doesn't have a nice right-hand break like this. But if all goes well, this surfer will one day make an invaluable contribution to rural life. Ty Clayworth is a third-year medicine student at the Port Macquarie campus of the UNSW Rural Clinical School. When I found out that uh, you had the option after three years to study in Port Macquarie uh, uh, as one of the rural campuses, and I knew that I always saw myself going back to a rural area, so that's why I chose Port. As an Indigenous rural student, Ty is exactly the potential medical professional country Australia needs. Australia has enough doctors. However, there's a maldistribution of doctors, and the maldistribution is distinctly urban-based, which leaves rural and regional Australia wanting. Port Macquarie is one of five UNSW campuses across the state. Initially offering a few short placements, the campus now takes 40 full-time students a year. They will uh, do all their clinical work, their uh, research year, and their uh, didactic teaching here. And they, at the end of it all, they'll be examined here in Port and, uh, and graduate. And it is, they graduate from University of New South Wales. One of those heading for graduation is Shannon Knott. He's so passionate about getting medical professionals out to the country, he brings them back to his place. His Rural Appreciation Weekends host 150 health and medicine students every year. What I thought, well, we'll bring the city kids to the bush, um, to my, my parents' property in Dunedoo, and um, give them an experience that actually, I suppose, simulates what it's like living in, the, in rural Australia, as well as working in rural Australia as well. Learning how farmers shear sheep and, and seeing a, a sheep and cattle property run through to more practical things like snake bite and venomation. Start at the fingertips and toes of the affected limb. We're it's about giving people early on in their degrees this positive experience so that later on when they do have access to go into things such as rural clinical schools to be able to allow students to realise that okay going to a rural and remote setting in the first place is going to be a positive for me, my, my own work-life balance and also for your learning. For Ty that means getting hands-on experience in a close-knit community. It's been good with my supervisor Dr Prowse to to have an, like an opportunity to go into his rooms and, and see some patients with him and, and just to kind of get more of a feel about what medicine will actually be like. Yeah, so it may not do anything for his back. Up here they actually see there's a, a big need for doctors in the country so they actually um, are very keen to actually see students and actually show them their problem and talk about their problem to give the students some insight. Once you know, kids get out and try it here, they see that it, there are different aspects. There's a much more hands-on aspect. There's a much more close interaction with the community and the patient in the community in the rural areas. And uh, it's a pretty rewarding experience. For some students, life in port proves to be addictive. Bronwyn Orr planned to stay nine months. Now a graduate, she's not heading back to Sydney anytime soon. It takes me five minutes to get to work and five minutes to get home. Uh, so even if I've had a really busy day, I can be home and at the beach within 10 minutes. I really like the small kind of community feel that we get here and like with everyone at the campus, there's only about 40 people there so you know, you kind of know everyone. If you've got a chance to go into a rural or remote or regional setting, I would say take it with both hands because the training that you get there, as well as the sort of work-life balance, the social aspects of it, is absolutely amazing. I'm not going to rule out like the city, but I definitely see myself settling down in the country.